Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben. Today, we're putting in the engine flush into this Chevrolet Duramax. Our good man, Rod, over here, he's gonna start dumping in first, so just push down and twist, and then you'll taco and peel. This is going to clean oil coking inside the turbos, helps loosen sticky lifters, helps quiet them, so it gets that carbon buildup out, reduces oil consumption. That's when you burn oil. The oil goes by, and cokes up your DPF filter. Now, that's the engine flush going right into the motor oil. Since this is uh, a thicker motor oil and it's diesel, we're just gonna go with two bottles of flush. And that's the thin detergent going in. Now we're putting in the diesel injector clean. What this does is it lubricates the upper rings. It also lubricates your fuel pump, so it'll extend the life of the fuel pump. It just goes right in the diesel fuel, and this can increase cetane up to eight points. If you run it as a maintaining dose, you'll see a huge bump in fuel mileage, up to 8% better fuel mileage. When you run it as a heavy cleanup dose, which we're doing today, this is gonna help really clean up the rings and the carbon deposits inside the combustion chamber, keeping the valves clean and everything else and you don't want to get it on your hands because it really smells. <laughs> and it, I've had some guys, they've uh, lost a couple good pairs of leather gloves with it, trying to save a bottle. They go, they put like half a bottle in and then they get it everywhere. <laughs> this right here is the motor oil that was in this truck before. We took a little uh, oil analysis sample. We're gonna show you. Now Rod here is gonna start up the truck and now we're gonna idle her for 15 minutes. <laughs> millimeter socket. That's all it is, 15 millimeter bolt. And there we go, perfect. And to go ahead and cork her up. All right, we're just draining our oil filter, pretty easy to get to. We just use a little oil filter wrench. All right, here we are. Filter nice and primed and lubed up. This is the filter we just put on. This is the AMSOIL filter. It's got a nice non-slip coating to it. So it's really good to get a good grip on it. Upgraded for up to 25,000 miles. Doing all highway driving, you can do that. This is also upgraded with this anti-drain back valve. That's that orangish looking thing that's made out of silicone. It doesn't deform over the course of the year. So you're good for uh, about 15,000 miles of severe service. But on this truck, we're gonna be going 10,000. We're gonna come back, change the filter, add more oil. So you'll see the difference between this STP and this, how that drain back valve is a little bit different, upgraded. And then this one also filters at 99% efficiency at 20 microns. So a lot of the OEM filters, usually most of their efficiency is about 60 to 80%, depending on the manufacturer. This one is 99% efficiency. So that's gonna keep these little particles from wearing out the camshafts, getting carbon around the rings, all that buildup. This is gonna keep that junk out of your oil. This is our oil sample we took earlier. We just drained it out of the pan and then we put the flush in this oil. So this is our old oil we just drained out with the engine flush in it. This has no flush. We're gonna send it off and show the analysis. Everything's looking normal as always. Looks good. At the 100% synthetic liquid gold going in, this is the very first oil to be API certified in Texas, American Petroleum Institute, back in 1972. And we're using our fast funnel that came in the promo kit, and we got the rubber gloves, and we're putting in 10 quarts of liquid gold. This oil is good for two times OEM, not to exceed 25,000 miles or one year. If you do oil analysis, which what, that's what we're doing on this truck, you can definitely go longer. Just make sure you check it out. Make sure you have no fuel dilution. That's the biggest thing that can scuff your cylinder liners like this. But what makes AMS oil different is the film strength keeps the metal parts separated and you have less friction and you won't wear out your cylinders. So you have better engine braking, much better compression. These are the specifications this lubricant meets and exceeds all your major tractor trailers, Caterpillar, Allison, uh, Cummins, all your major specs, that's what this is for. Twenty five percent synthetic and full synthetic. So an oil manufacturer can call a full synthetic full synthetic when it's twenty five percent synthetic 
and 75% conventional oil. And this is 100% synthetic, so that's how AMS oil gets its extra performance. There we are. Perfect. Exactly. Done. Looks great. Once we start it up, the oil level will come down from right here, right down to the middle. Perfect. Fifty thousand pounds. I can't stop. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of weight. So you've had this thing for uh, since twenty one. Yeah. Brand spanking new. Both truck and trailer are twenty twenty ones. Oh shoot! I can't go fast. School zone. You usually do oil changes. How often? Every five thousand. Wow. So it's almost one. It's pretty close to once a month because I put eleven 1 hundred miles a week on it. So it's pretty much, yeah, pretty much once a month. Wow. Sometimes I let it stretch one extra week just to get, you know, a little longevity out of it. Yeah. But it's got 135,500 miles on it. Wow. And so far, have you fixed anything on it? Um, for some reason, the fan clutch, the fan hub came undone and ripped all the wires out of it. So we had to buy all new. I think it was this, like the serpentine belt that runs it mm -hmm. failed, but then somehow wiped out the bracket that holds it because it's just a, huh? It's a big, huge fan, and there's one bar that holds it, and all the wires go through it. When the fan came out, I think it wiped out the bar, and the whole thing spun and ripped all the wires out. Wow! So we had to replace that. That's this weird. truck, that's the only thing so far. It feels smoother. Wow! Yeah, it definitely. Yeah, it feels nice and smooth. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. I love it. And that box back there is about how much? I'd say it's probably close to 16,000 pounds right now total. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. This thing runs great with 16,000 pounds. Wow. Yeah. We'll find out when uh, next week when we come back fully loaded coming over to Hatchapi, climbing the mountain. That's, that's always the test. Sweet. I will let you know. Sweet. Yeah. It runs good. I'm thinking even using the diesel treatment. Yeah. That you gave me, I've used a whole case now. Good thing we got another case in the garage. Yeah. I, I think I'm probably getting about two miles to the gallon better than I normally have. Nice. It's hard to tell. And I'm constantly just checking the, uh -huh. well, now we're stopped. But yeah, I always, I'm watching that constantly. And usually it's been like seven. When I'm fully loaded, like I'm pretty full now. It's usually about seven when I'm full. When I'm quarter full going home, it'd be about nine miles to the gallon and lately it's been showing me 10 so it's at least a mile to the gallon better nice i think it's probably a little more than that just doing the diesel treatment nice you can see the best must have been when i didn't have the trailer on there <laughs> yeah yeah that's really <laughs> average good. mileage on without the trailer is 24. that's pretty that's darn awful. good so it's in tow haul mode with the transmission I just leave it in regular. Oh, it just does what it does. I yeah. don't do anything. Yeah. I don't change any of that. Yep. It just automatically goes into that, I'm sure. Yeah. When I'm driving and I'm going through mountains, whatever, I usually manually shift it. To keep it from popping up and down I'm, all the time. I'm, yeah. I, I'm a little, well, I could see things coming better than the computer does. So uh -huh. if I know I'm going to climb a hill, I always already dropped into the low gear and then it's, it's, what I call preloaded the turbo, and the turbo's already hot and ready to go when I get to the base of the hill and it climbs better. If I don't leave it, just leave it in drive, it always it starts dropping horsepower or dropping mileage, and then it starts shifting down and it's gotta play catch up. When I'm using the brake, whatever, I can manually shift down too to help slow me down coming down the hill, so. 
Most of the time when I'm gonna go from California to Nevada, it's in manual mode. Thanks for watching today's video. Really appreciate you. If you ever get to the farmer's market, definitely check out Rod's Farmer's Market. It's downtown Summerlin every Saturday in the morning, like nine to two. Yep. Rod's out there in the fields, always using this truck going back and forth from California. I think it's uh, so far even taking a little for a test drive. It's run smoother. I'm excited about the better mileage because I do put on 1,100 miles a week. So if I could save a little bit of fuel, Every little penny counts. So thank Sweet. you, even. Yeah, happy thank to. Thank you very Thanks, much. Rod. You're a yeah. good man. Thanks yeah. for sharing the truck with everybody. And Absolutely. And gave us the whole experience. Yeah. If you want to try the fluids, just go right here, syntheticoilprotection.net, and check out this video right here in the middle. This one is on more changing fluids to get your vehicle to run better than brand new. We show every fluid uh, on this style of vehicle right here in this playlist. See you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.